Oh, just tell me the door. Okay. Whip stuff. Uh -huh. Okay, you let me. Okay, alright. Oh, do I have to put this on? Okay. No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want no, to. No, I have to. Oh, it's looking cool. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I finish up with you guys? Alright, we have Vidya in the house. Hello, welcome to Radio Mirchi. Hello, thank you so much for having me. You guys seem like such a fun radio station. Really? Actually. Yes, uh -huh. we are very fun. <laughs> yeah. Have we got endorsements? Thank you so much. How are you feeling, everyone? So far, so good. Very jet lagged, but you know, it's it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be cut to fire. It's gonna be cut to fire. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got a few questions for you. Yes. First of all, I've been reading. Uh, you can talk in Hindi. I cannot talk in Hindi, but I'll understand. You'll understand in yeah. Hindi. Okay. So we'll test that at a later point then. But <laughs> <laughs> for now, uh, I was reading up and I found out that you were a trained dancer and you were yeah. pursuing medicine. And then suddenly you decided to become a YouTube heartthrob. <laughs> When did that decision happen? Um, it was actually it happened over a process of a few years. You know, I collaborated with Shankar Tucker on his channel with my sister. We did like some Carnatic Bhajan style, mm -hmm. and um, and you know he did some Western arrangements to that. So we were, I was like really intrigued by YouTube at that time. I didn't know, and Shankar was one of the few people like for Indian music that was doing it at that time. So we did that, and it like got some attention, and I was like, wait a minute, I can like maybe do this. Like you don't understand, I have n music was not even in my wildest dreams, you know. It's like every parent is like, mom, she's like, uh, you know, <laughs> you have to do be a doctor or you know all of these things. But actually, they're really supportive, and my mom and grandma are both here. I drag them along everywhere, um, and they're super supportive of me doing music. So this sort of happened. Um, over the course of like a year, actually, because then after I graduated from university and I finished my degree, I moved to Mumbai, mm -hmm. restarted my learning because I stopped learning in college, and um, and yeah, so I'm here, like two years later, in your office. <laughs> That sounded like a good story. <laughs> I know, I know, it's yes, and uh, our next question. Uh, so, Kabira and Closer mashup is the mm. the biggest <laughs> mashup. My favorite is the Jinmai you know mashup I really like that. Okay. What is your favorite mashup that you've done? Oh, that's that's tough. You can't be like who's your favorite ch child, you know. No, but I got only tough questions. There are no easy <laughs> ones. It is starting off. Uh, oh, great. Thanks. Uh, I think uh you know, I want to say be free. But right now mm -hmm. I'm really loving it. I think it, you know, because it was original. All the English was original. Shankar Shankar actually wrote that and you know, and composed it and then we sang it with Parli Wale which wasn't really like that well known. I mean, a lot of my Malayali friends like didn't know that, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, do you know this song? I'm going to do the song." Jomi, our friend, was like, "You should do the song." We're like, "Okay." And so the way it came out, like you know, we did it the night before the video shoot, and we already had called all of these dancers. None of them had the song, by the way. Okay. They just <laughs> that then that morning, as people were getting ready, they're choreographing on on set, just like in the village. We we're in like in the Kerala village. Right. Yeah, so just the way it came out, the video and the songs, so I really. Uh, no, it's a nice. Song. I like the song. Well. Uh, you're like, no, I like. Yeah. Why do you say that? <laughs> yeah, I like the Lino. My favorite. <laughs> All right. So one question that all of us had over here: mm -hmm. Why not Bollywood? Because you're touring like Bollywood stars. <laughs> People show up like Bollywood stars. Why not Bollywood? Why no Bollywood songs yet? Very good question. Um, I have I been told approached you. by Bollywood. Yeah, you know, like directors or anything, and I'm not necessarily trying to do that right now because I'm. I really want to do my own music. I want to, you know, for the EP, like Cut the Fire. Like I wrote mm -hmm. that. You know, we composed it and wrote that song together. The whole album, we did that together, and so I really want to focus on sort of my music and have creative control of that. You know, so right, right now that's kind of where my head is at, and obviously. Mm -hmm. Listening, you can call me anytime. Um, <laughs> Hollywood directors. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not opposed to it in any way. But right now, that's where the focus is, and that's why I live in LA. And you know, there's a really good culture, and I want to bring Indian music there as well. You know, because right. it's not it's not very well known. I mean, obviously. We have amazing people like Priyanka Chopra there, who is trying to, you know, build more awareness for the South Asian community and for South Asian women specifically, mm -hmm. um, especially abroad. It's very lacking. So if I could do that with music there, um, you know, that would just be amazing. So right. that's kind of 
Michael right now. <laughs> Alright, okay. Sounds good. Okay, now some behind the scene incidents mm. from the videos that we should be knowing about. <laughs> because they're always stories. Always. One that Every we should video. know about. Hmm, I have to go and think. It's like a really interesting story. I have so many. Most of the songs, um, you know, like especially like the boat song, like Kutanarden and stuff, we always are doing it last minute. It always looks like it's well planned out and hmm. edit. It's not. It's mostly, except for Diamonds and Kutu Fire, which we like literally, you know, planned for like over a month. But, you know, Kutu and we're just writing it the night before, and Jomi was like recording drums on it at like 3 a.m. So it's always a race to the finish line, but, you know, they always turn out okay. So. All right, all right. Sounds good. Okay, so we are uh, almost out of time. So I just got one last rapid fire for you. Rapid fire. Yes, it's a rapid fire round. All right, so you got to give me a song for one situation that you are in. Okay. All right, so for, for every situation that you give, you need to give Ooh, me a song. Okay. If you could sing a line, that'd be great. If you can't, you just tell me the song. I, yeah, I'll tell you the song. All right, good, good. <laughs> All right, first song. When you have a crush on someone. Mm, crush? Oh my God, wait. This is. I want to say like Dungiho, but that's not really, that's not crush. That's like love. Hmm. Right? Mm, crush? I'd say um, Nelly Furtado's Promiscuous. All right. Cool. If uh, someone's kidnapped you and you have to get out of the situation with one song, <laughs> I know that escalated quickly, I know. <laughs> Something with Bachao. Some... Oh, what? I don't know. What is there a song be? called Bachao? No, there isn't. There should I just be. Made, no. I know, yeah, I'm next, make next one, right? mashup. <laughs> Mujhe Bachao. That's going to be my next mashup. <laughs> that's original song, guys. <laughs> Coming up, Mujhe Bachao from this situation of getting kidnapped. Uh, I don't know. What would be like a good song? Do you guys have any suggestions? What would you? I don't know. This is not rapid fire. Yeah, I know. You got to be like, more rapid. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like contemplating, fire. you know, I'm just contemplating. <laughs> just like a nice cover tree. Um, I don't know actually what it would be. I can't think All of right. anything. Let's but hope you never get kidnapped. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's right. I never want to. All right. When you land in your hometown, then I... Yeah. What is it? Oh, cut the fire. <laughs> Is it because of heat? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that and also just you know people are just passing you know like these big like percussion ensembles and stuff. You can mm -hmm. you like the kuta music is like everywhere actually, um, and or anything by Ilai Raja. I love that. Okay, cool, sweet. Um, when you reach for an event late, does that happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Wow, I'm really sucking at this. What is this? This is tough. I know, I told what you. Kind of I want fire? you. <laughs> Most rapid fires like, do you like chocolate? What chocolate or green tea? And it's like, you know, you pick the obvious answer. Okay. This is like, okay, let me think. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> so you want to move to the next question? Yeah, pass. Chocolate or green tea? <laughs> 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 chocolate no, no, the next it. question is, uh, when you finally get to go home and work is over. Oh, finally. Um, I want to say, uh, Home, which is also oh my god, I'm just plugging my own songs. This is terrible. <laughs> That's because I'm rehearsing these songs. Um, yeah, so just anything chill or you know budgets. I really love listening to budgets. Okay. I'm like a budget junkie. I know it's weird. Really? I am. Yeah, I grew up singing budgets. My grandma taught me all these budgets growing up, and so anytime I'm just like chilled out, I'm always listening to budgets. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. This is yeah. new also. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, what's your favorite dish? Um, oh burritos. Now a song for this. <laughs> you thought we were escaping, tacos, no? Tacos, tacos, tacos. <laughs> Last question. Yeah. When you're angry. When I'm angry? Um, probably something by Skrillex. You okay. Know, his really, diff like, really, like his first, one of his first albums, like Bangarang or something. That's Bang something really It's a nice song. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. That was the one bite, uh, <laughs> Vidya, fun. one bite for uh, Mirchi Telugu. Uh, you're here on the Sunday. What would you want to tell to whole Hyderabad? Hyderabad? Get ready to dance and sing with me. It's going to be a fun night. And uh, let's leave all of our worries behind and party! Yeah! And yes, as a kid, you used to listen to radio. What does yeah. radio mean to you? You know, radio is uh, its actually one of the my favorite things because even driving to work, like when I had a job, which I did, I started working when I was like, like 14 and um, as like a receptionist and a hostess so I'd always re listen to the radio driving and um, it's it's just it basically like comforts me you know because I have like certain programs that I listen to on certain channels and I have some favorite like RJ's I mean there you guys are also my favorite but over there <laughs> oh, yes. so, yeah. we don't want to trouble you much but this is radio and people are also watching one line for us not much just a line single line Wow, everyone's just diamonds. Okay. 
And I was like, thinking, yeah. huh? Diamonds. Diamonds. Diamonds and gold, Mindy and Bengal, so beautiful. She moves like an angel, dance like she don't got a care in the world, like Elelelelelelelelo. Radio Mitchy 98.3, Idi Chala Hot Guru. Idi Chala? Hot Guru. Radio Mitchy 98.3. Yes. Radio Mitchy 98.3. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.